All right, next up, we have the versatile enforcer, Wendell Carter Jr. Uh, why don't you go first on this one, Peach? I'm curious to have what you have to say about okay. our boy WCJ. Um, I've given Wendell a satisfactory grade. Okay. Um, I I can't pump him up too much because rebounds are down, and that's what I want to see more of. Hashtag uh, big man shit. Points are up, which is great. Um, but I, I there's some certain games where he disappeared that really made me concerned. Mm. Um, he's got to be at least a 10 and 10 guy every night, and there were several nights where he was not. Um, and when he is disappearing out there because a bigger guy is pushing him around, it hurts us big time. It, it throws off the whole flow of our offense. And he gets he seems to lose his confidence early. Like, if he doesn't hit a few shots early, sometimes it's just like, well, it's going to be a bad Wendell game. Um, yeah. So, I mean, you look at the numbers, 8.8 .8 on the rebounds, that's pretty close to 10. In the 15 points, you like it. It's mm -hmm. satisfactory. It's not yeah. It's not gold star, Yeah. you know, but it's not see me after class. It's just you did what we asked you to do pretty much. And I, I just can't give him the flowers that I'd like to because I just feel like I saw – Mostly what I saw last year with mm -hmm. improved shooting. Yeah, I it was tough. I also have the same critique with the rebounds down from ten and a half last year to now. I lost it, of course, from ten and a half to eight point seven. Oh, eight point seven. Yeah. So, but and that's that's troubling. You're right. I agree. He does struggle with some of the larger bigs. But the versatility I think he brings on on defense, he does have some switchability more than mm -hmm. most centers in the league yep. in terms of switching on to guards or smaller players. For sure, he handled himself well out there on the perimeter this year, and and I do I do want to applaud him for that, sir. Yeah, I'm I gave the Bulls two thumbs up on this one. Okay, so it was you know ex I looked at the whole WCJ package, what he's bringing, and maybe this isn't just for the year. This is just WCJ as the player on the team right now, moving forward, mm. um, because he, although the rebounding went down, we got Paulo Bancaro, who you know we've talked about, and that man can rebound the basketball better than. I thought, sure. I, generally, you know, so he's stealing some of those boards. You know, you got Cole Anthony in there, sure. pesky, but you're right. That's a good point. That that's that's why I'm giving this to the Bulls right now. I think we have four years, fifty million dollar contract, three more years on that, and it's yeah. a descending deal down to ten million dollars a year. You know, three years, three seasons from now. I mean, if you're factoring in that contract, I feel bad giving it satisfactory. No, because I, that that is more than most people are going to get from that type of contract. So, yeah. but I'm trying to just look at it from his overall base of work. But and and the expectations contract. you have for WCJ, because I think right. you you believe in WCJ and how good he can be. Yes. Other yeah. than the fact that he went to Duke, I'm trying to live vicariously <laughs> through him. Um, we have similar games. Uh, yes. We like to be be spectacled and protect our corneas. Um, yeah, I just... <laughs> I it was it was a, a very good season. It wasn't quite, and we're going to probably touch on this, I had, you know, maybe built up WCJ to be a little bit more than than came through and delivered. I think we're going to talk we about are that. We're going to talk about that. I chose him, later. I believe, as the highest scorer on the team this year, or no, maybe front. I'm not <laughs> sure, but like talking about this guy at the end of last year, I think I was getting a little giddy about it. Call, you know, saying 20 and 10. Yeah, we thought he could be that our level first of all star, and right. Maybe we set the expectations too high. Yes, but. You know, with all that being said, he did increase his efficiency across the board. Most notably, his three-point shot is up to 36%, um, and he's taken about four of those a game, which is another half of an attempt increase from last year. So if those keep falling, that's been dangerous. It makes the team really dynamic on offense, creates space for Paulo, Franz, anyone who wants to work, Markel, to work in the paint, and you have to respect WCJ at the line more and more. I I mean, if that ticks up again, wow, he is dangerous. I know we want some more big man shit down low. Get getting those boards, WCJ. We know it. Just go beast mode on them. Uh, but I love what we have in WCJ moving forward here. Yeah, I agree. I mean, the, I don't think I don't think at this point we expect him to be our all star or our leading scorer. Mm -hmm. He is a third or fourth option, and he's doing a, depend that well. a dependable so, third or fourth option. And right he's now doing on it offense. So. Yeah. And and everyone talks about his, uh, you know, how he how good he is on defense in terms of his positioning. 
He mm-hmm. gives up some height, yeah. but he's very good. Yeah, if he was a little taller, he would yeah. be able to guard those bigs a lot of times. But most yeah. of the time, they can just shoot over him. So it's a it's tough. little bit of a mismatch sometimes, which which stinks. But right. that's what it is. Let us know. Where are you on WCJ? Put it in the comments. Thank you.